Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you are doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you are feeling okay, you can put your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very good, you can put your thumb down. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started. We are going to sing our good morning song. So let's stretch our arms into airplane wings like this and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, back to the middle, and now bring those airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch that circle up over your head, over to one side, to the other side. One last stretch up at the top, and now we will bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and I hope you are all having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do. First, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, let's put on our thinking hats. And finally, it's time to warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. And now we are ready to get started with the calendar and weather chart. I have my pointing stick and I'm going to bring it to the top to talk about the month. Do you know what the new month is called? June. That's right. The month is June and today is June 3rd. So I'm going to move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was June 2nd. And today is June 3rd, 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. And can I see your counting fingers? We'll give them a little stretch to warm them up. We don't have very much counting to do, but we are going to count the days that we've had so far in the month of June. So get those counting fingers ready. We'll start with the number one, two, three. We have had three days so far in the month of June. Now let's hold up seven fingers like this to sing the days of the week song together. Will you sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the chart and I'm going to tell you the sound that the day starts with. If you know what the day is, you can say it out loud. Listen carefully. This says that yesterday was wa. Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. So that means that today is th. Thursday. And tomorrow will be th. Friday. Tomorrow will be the last day of the weekday. But let's sing Today is Thursday together. It goes like this. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday all day long. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. Do you know what the season is right now? Spring. It's springtime where I live. And if we travel back down to the bottom of the chart, that means that it's time to sing the weather song together. Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
So I have a picture of another cloudy day today. It looks like the sun is trying to poke out from behind the clouds, but it's still cloudy. Maybe later today we will see the sun shining. And my temperature chart is on orange. Yesterday it was very, very hot where I lived, but after a little bit of rain, the temperature cooled down a little bit and it's back to being warm. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and tell me what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Today is going to be the last day talking about this letter. Will you tell me the sound that this letter makes? Z, z. And what is this letter called? Z. That's right. This is a lowercase z. This is the last letter in the alphabet. Z says z, z. Are you ready to guess what's inside of the letter box today? It's something that starts with the letter Z, Z. Here is your first clue. This is a type of a fastener. This is used to open and close the front part of a jacket, but this can also be found on pants and sometimes even shoes. Do you know what it is? Let's take a look. This is called a zipper. Zipper starts with the letter Z, Z. So as you can see, this zipper is on the front part of this hoodie. And right now the zipper is opened. But if I wanted to close it up, I could fasten it like this and then pull the zipper up and now it's closed. Zipper starts with the letter Z, Z. This is how you write a lowercase Z, Z. One more time. And what about this number? Do you remember what number this is? One. Can you show me one finger? One. And now let's count to the number one using the large bead frame. Today we are going to count one unit. So I'm going to go up to the green beads and I'm going to move one unit from the left over to the right. One. One unit. And I wonder what we have to count today that's inside of the number box. A leaf. I have one green leaf. One. Today will also be the last day saying eat in sign language. Remember friends, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. Will you show me how to say eat in sign language? That's right. We take one of our hands and we bring our four fingers together and touch it to your thumb like this. Now bring your hand to your mouth. Eat. Let's take one last look at the picture of the five food groups and see what food group we have left to talk about. So we started off with grains. At the beginning of the week, we talked about whole grains and refined grains. Then we moved on to fruits and vegetables and made a delicious smoothie. Yesterday, we talked about protein and how protein can come from meat, but protein can also be plant-based. But we still have one last food group up at the top, and that is dairy. Today we are going to be talking all about dairy products. Dairy products are high in calcium and lots of other vitamins, and that's what makes our bones and teeth strong. 
So dairy is found in cow's milk, cheese, and yogurt. But just like we talked about yesterday, dairy can be substituted for in a plant-based diet. So instead of dairy-based milk, cheese, and yogurt, some people choose soy or nut-based milk, cheese, and yogurt. But the most important thing to remember about the five food groups that we've learned about this week is to eat a well-balanced diet. That means making sure that you don't eat too much food from one food group or not enough from another food group. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you will need a pair of child-friendly scissors, some glue, a coupon booklet, or you can also use a magazine that has a lot of pictures of food inside, and then five pieces of paper. And I just used different color pieces of paper to represent each of the five food groups that we have learned about this week. So I have orange to represent grain, red to represent fruit, green for vegetables, pink for protein, and white for dairy. So I'm going to start off by looking inside of this coupon book and cutting out all different kinds of food that I see. Go down here, it looks like down here, there are some pictures of some sausage. So sausage is a type of meat which has protein inside of it. So I'm going to put the sausage on the pink paper. Friends, if you'd like to, you can first just cut out all the pictures that you see and then sort them, or you can sort them as you go along, which is what I like to do. Oh, here are some blueberries. Blueberries are one of my favorite fruits. We have some growing in our orchard, and they should be ready to be picked in a few months or a few weeks, and I like to put them in my smoothies. I put blueberries in my smoothie earlier this week when we made smoothies together. So a blueberry is a type of fruit. I'm going to put it on the red piece of paper because red represents fruit. Oh, I see something green. Here is some kale. I also love to put kale inside of my smoothies to make my smoothie green. Kale is a type of a vegetable, so I'm going to put that on the green piece of paper. So let's see, we have some fruit, some veggies, we have some protein, we need some dairy, and we need some grain. Let's take a look. I see another type of fruit though. Let me cut out, it out and I'll show you where it looks like closer. Do you know what this is? These are called cherries. Cherries are fruit. So the cherries can go with the blueberries. But in order to have a balanced diet, we need to eat a little bit of everything from each of the five food groups. And we're still missing some grain and some protein or some dairy. Let's take a look. I see some cereal right here. Cereal is definitely a type of a grain. So I'm going to cut this out. A box of cereal and add it to the orange piece of paper. And now all I need is some dairy and my diet will be complete. Let's see if we can see any dairy together. Not on this one. Let's move on to this page. Oh, I see some right here. These are 
substitutes for cow's milk. There's some oat milk and some coconut milk right here. So like we talked about before, some people choose to eat a plant-based diet. And so instead of drinking cow's milk, they substitute with oat milk or coconut milk. That can go under dairy. And let's take a look. Let's see if we have some food to represent each of the five food groups that we've learned about. We have some cereal, which is a grain. We have some cherries and blueberries, which are fruit. Some kale, which is a vegetable. Some sausage, which is protein. And some oat milk and some coconut milk for dairy. And the last thing to do is to use your glue stick and go ahead and glue everything onto each of the five food groups. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. This week we have learned about the five food groups. Grains, fruits, vegetables, protein, and dairy. By eating a well-balanced diet, it will help your body to stay healthy and strong. Remember, the better that you eat, the better that you will feel. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. And just a reminder, everyone, that for the month of June, there will be no circle time on Friday. So I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll be back on Monday. Goodbye, everyone.